My name is Agatha Enika. My three chicken are not born. My no, first my born precious. Second one Janet. Third one Rebecca. Agatha Emeka. She has been a good patient. When she got pregnant with this third baby, she has been coming for checkup, been coming for scanning, and we've been treating her accordingly. But when you get to put to bed, she trekked air by herself. It was so 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 very hot that day. As I reach the uh, hospital, Bella don't they catch me for house. When I call born, finish, my picking no fee breed well well. So that time my body don't I then come take me to another room. I they pray, may my picking no die. When the baby came out, we were somehow panicked that this baby is going to make it again because the baby has gone through stress. We now think of using the method of neonatal resuscitation. I went out from the labor room to bring the video from there, use one of our resuscitating gadgets, which is ample bag, to apply oxygen to the baby like three or four times. From there, the heart started kicking came, baby now turned. When the baby turned, she started crying. I said, go and carry my chicken to me. They happy, say my chicken, they alive. Thirty-five before they came back, when I want to register my patients, I have to transfer it to the OPD register. After that, general attendance register. Then, if it is a baby, I have to register the baby in a gross monitoring register. It's very stressful. When we are doing the validation, we have to carry all our register on our head. So our, where we are doing the validation at SLK, basic health center. But for this uh, clinic park now, it makes everything easier. I will just register the patient on the clinic park, take the complaint, take the diagnosis and the treatment. The IPP, that is International Partnership Project, has really helped the states in terms of data management because we have reduction in loss of data. We don't have the adequate human resource. So most of the time they are overworked. We've actually had conversations with the health workers and they've actually attested to it that, of course, they prefer the electronic form of data reporting because it saves them a lot of stress. You can't provide qualitative healthcare without data. <laughs> it's, it's impossible. We are using this to actually improve on diagnostic and therapeutic. So that is in line with our vision and our goal. Yeah. 